Welcome back to Better Living. I'm joined now by Jason from the Liquor Cabinet. This makes me happy. I'm it, just going to say. It makes me yeah. happy also. It makes people happy during the holidays especially. You, you know, this makes the family time just go sometimes a little easier. A little smoother, exactly. I'm just saying. So, let's talk about... In theory, you're supposed to serve specific types of wine with specific types of meats or meals. Does it really matter? Because look, I don't like, I'm not a sweet wine kind of person. Now, if you want me to try something, I will gladly try something, yeah. whatever you want me to. But I, I like my red wines. I like a Cabernet or a Merlot. I would prefer to drink that with whatever I'm eating. I don't care what's proper. Is that all right? That's all right. That's absolutely fine. It, you know, if you have a preference, then stick with your preference. But, you know, certain things do go better with turkey. So white wines typically, fruitier reds to seem to go better. Uh, nothing too dry. Okay. You know, because turkey tends to be dry already. So it's kind of like counterbalances. So is there a certain type of red, if I normally am a Cabernet drinker, is there a, a red that is... a more turkey, you know, more friendly or to turkey? Usually like a Zin or a Syrah or, okay. or, or a Merlot. Just anything basically, just not a cab. Not Got a it. cab or just, a Just stay yeah. away just, just, from your favorite. Yeah, you exactly. Okay. Exactly. But I, I tend to tell people, especially if they're having people over, get something that's universally accepted by everybody because, you know, not everybody is a wine connoisseur. And, you know, so I brought a lot of things here today that you know, anybody can try. Well, these are things I need to know because I'm always the one that's supposed to bring the wine because they don't trust me to bring the food. Okay. I'm really bad at the cooking thing uh -huh. and therefore I have to bring the wine. Okay. So let's talk about some of the things that you have brought with you. These are things that I could take with me to my Thanksgiving meal. Definitely, definitely. This first one right here <clears throat> is George de Boeuf's uh, Beaujolais. They come out with this every holiday season. They have a big festival in France and just to celebrate this wine coming out. So is it specifically a holiday wine? Specifically then? a holiday wine. Mo most of the time, yeah, specifically a holiday wine. I mean, you can drink it any time of the year, but the only time we really sell it is during the holidays. Okay. I, it's a fruity, fruity kind of red with a little bit of hints of cherry to it. Uh, you want to give it a shot? Uh, yes, you don't have to, All you right. know, ask me twice. <laughs> Right. I'm just glad he brought a glass because, you know, I would have I would have had it out of my, you know, coffee mug, but now I have to do the whole proper, do I have to do the yeah, proper? Why, yeah, why not get the aromas, you know, let it, and I have yeah. to, mm, it, it does smell really good. Yeah, and this is something, you know, anybody can drink. You have, it, it, a lot of times you have people over that don't typically drink wine in this. No, I, I like that because mm -hmm. it's, it's not too sweet. It still has a, I, I don't know the word for it. See, I'm not a, I like it's, to think of myself as a whiny person. It's not too fruity. It's not too fruity. No, it has, it's not. It has, it has like tannins to it, yeah. Now, here's another question for you in the wine glass thing, because I've been told it matters what kind of glass you drink it out of. Mm -hmm. I like the stemless glasses. Yeah. As long as it's a good stemless glass, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter okay. as long as the shape is generally the same because it kind of gives you that uh, aroma. You still get that aroma. The aroma gives a lot of the flavor of the wine. So if you had a cold and you were drinking wine, you would miss a lot of the flavors through it. So what do you think of that? I like it. Okay. I do like that. And I could do that. I could, I could drink that and not feel like I was drinking. It's very cheap. It's like 10 bucks. It's very popular even, on the holidays. Even better. Yeah. Next, I brought a uh, spice cherry wine from Traverse City. Which is great because you feel like you're keeping it a little low, you know, I brought within a lot the of, region. Yeah, I brought a lot of things spiced today. That seems to go well during the holidays. Oh. And this is actually from Michigan. It's delicious. It's good during holidays. Spiced cherry. That makes me think of, like, chai, you know. It's yeah. Like, it's like I'm drinking tea. It's not like it's wine. It's like... Yeah, it's a little healthier, right? Yeah, that's, that's what mean, I'm going to tell me myself. I but... <laughs> That's my story. I'm sticking to yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. And actually, Michigan has a lot of wines that are good for the holidays. A lot of fruity wines. It's, I can almost smell like the clove. <clears throat> I'm going to guess clove, it's clove. Yes. I can smell mm -hmm. the clove. Clove, orange peel with a It cherry. smells good. I want to like simmer it on my stove just to mm -hmm. smell it. Okay. That's really good. It tastes like a holiday, right? It, it really does. It yeah. tastes like warm. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're going to try some more and talk some more about wines you should serve this Thanksgiving. Stick with us. We'll be right back on Better Living.